My movie suggestion for you today is Hook. It's a 1991 comedy directed by Steven Spielberg. The story revolves around a grown-up Peter Pan, now called Peter Banning. He doesn't remember his childhood or the Lost Boys or Neverland. He is now a family man who's all obsessed about his work. That's one of my favorite scenes right there with the mermaids. You know, I've heard a lot of people make fun of this movie. This movie has gotten a lot of flack. Even the director, Steven Spielberg, has put it down a little bit in the past, and I don't think that's right. It is so fun and imaginative, and yes, it's, it's not a perfect movie, of course not, but it's still fun, and I think if you have kids, they'll love it. Me, I watched it as a kid, so it's really nostalgic for me, but it has a great cast too, which I'll bring up in a few minutes, and so this is just my suggestion, uh, spoiler-free as much as possible, and I hope you enjoy. Let's get to it. I'm not going to explain the whole movie to you because you're going to watch the movie and find out for yourself. So the quick gist is, Peter is a workaholic lawyer and he doesn't spend enough time with his family as I think we all tend to do. It feels like we spend more time at work than with our family anyway. Eventually the whole family, Peter Pan, his wife and his son and daughter, are traveling to England, England. to visit his Granny Wendy. Since Wendy has spent her whole life helping children, a children's hospital is being dedicated to her in her name. There's this one scene just to kind of highlight how, you know, Peter's choosing work over family is he's on the phone, uh, work-related call, and his kids come in, make a bunch of noise, getting really rude, and, uh, you know, the mom just lets it happen. It's like, be a mother, mother these kids and tell them to leave the room. Your father's on an important business call. But no, you know, he's the bad guy. And while Peter, his wife, and Granny Wendy were at the ceremony, Captain Hook apparently has heard that Peter Pan's back in town and he goes to the house and kidnaps the children. This scene always scared me as a kid and watching it now was still kind of freaky. I mean, it's shot beautifully. The colors are great and vibrant. The cinematography is wonderful. It just really kind of scarred me as a child. <laughs> I just, it, it seems like an alien abduction. When without warning, I was abducted by aliens. And it's not really explained what happens, but they are taken. As you can see, the family comes home, realizes something terrible has happened, goes up to the second story to investigate to make sure their children are still safe, and they are left this note. To Peter Pan from Captain Hook. Have to fly. Have to save Maggie. Have to save Jack. Okay, he's back. Since the children are now involved, Wendy confides to Peter that he is actually Peter Pan, and he has a little bit of a crisis. It finally happened. I'm having a total nervous breakdown. Same. Come on, Peter, follow me and all will be well. I'm heading towards the white light. I've left my body. See, there's my house way down there. Oh my God, where are we going? Save your children, of course. Captain Hook's got them and you've got to fight them. Let's fly! Tinkerbell is played by Julia Roberts. As a kid, I didn't think much of it, but now it's like, is that really a good fit? But she was in Pretty Woman, so they put her in there. Yes, again. Look, stars. That's right, Peter. Second star of the right, stay until morning. Now I was doing some research for this video, and I read that that highly pixelated couple right there kissing on the bridge, those are actually two people that you may know, one being Carrie Fisher who you've known her from a lot of movies, but most likely you know her as Princess Leia from Star Wars, and George Lucas, who actually directed Star Wars. I just think that's a crazy bit of information. Just want to let you know. And that is Tinkerbell taking Peter Pan and Neverland. Isn't that pretty? All right, now, so let's get into the cast a little bit. Captain Hook is played by Dustin Hoffman. He's known for many movies. Mostly Rain Man is where I know him from. Oh, not you. Not you. against me bringing Pan back here, didn't you? No. This movie is full of celebrity cameos. I knew this person looked a little different, but I didn't pinpoint who it was until much later. Can you guess who that pirate on the right is? Is it wrong that I find it kind of hot? You are clearly unstable. Hey, you're unstable. That pirate is actually Glenn Close. She had that cameo, and I did not know that was her for the longest time. Even musician Jimmy Buffett had a cameo as a pirate. Right there. Cheeseburgers in paradise. Another cameo, and you see him very briefly, Inspector Good, that is actually Phil Collins. Three days, we're gonna have a war! 
We also have the other cast members here. We got Smee, played by Bob Hoskins. And you may know him best from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Great movie. Highly recommend it. Put your faces on, girl. Here comes Smee. Smee? <laughs> there are many scenes in this movie I love, but this is my absolute favorite scene. Mermaids with sparkles and colored hair like Splash and The Little Mermaid that I watch religiously. I wanted to be these mermaids. I mean, look how beautiful it is. I I just love this scene so much. It makes green hair look so pretty. And my dream is also to become one of these mermaids. I don't care if it's unrealistic. <laughs> so anyway, they put him in a clam and wheel him up. Some real food. I want to take. I want eggs. I want a cup of coffee. You can't. Eat your heart out, you prinkled, wrinkled, fat cat. You are a very poor role model for these kids. Do you know that? Substitute chemistry teacher. Mong Tong. Math tutor. Pinhead. Prison barber. Muddle lover. Nearest sighted gynecologist. You lewd, crude, rude, bag of pre chewed food dude. Bag of rice, bleeder! Okay, I'm still waiting for food to look like this. Like, this, <laughs> this was my idea of fancy foods here. You can just imagine all these fruits and big cakes and candies and pastries, all colorful. Before I die, I'm gonna make something that looks like that. No stopping me this time, Smee. My fingers on the trigger. Don't try to stop me, Smee. Oh, not again. Don't you dare try to stop me this time, Smee. Try to stop me. Get over here, Smee. I'm coming. Stop I'm coming. Me. I'm coming. This is not a joke. I'm committing a suicide. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How's you feel now? I want to die. Oh, no, no. Earlier in the film, we see Toodles searching for something. I've lost my marbles. I remember Toodles. Those are his marbles. He really did lose his marbles, didn't he? Yeah, he lost them good. <laughs> Those are just a few clips of why I really find this movie really sweet. You know, it brings me back to my childhood. Nostalgia. Not to mention mermaids. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good day. Bye. You. Yeah. Where's the coppers, me? Oh, so is it. My heyday was also the 90s.